Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for the trading session. We have is Tuesday, the 4th of April 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the www.tradesignal.com or Google Play and, and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of uh, US markets, really, the, the recurring theme remains are your European markets as well. Uh, Chinese uh, trade tariffs, uh, they're certainly retaliating with their extra tariffs. Obviously announced yesterday by the American uh, uh, counterpart. Again, uh, the Chinese apparently they're going to have a 9:30 UK time. They're having a, a press briefing, and we'll be announcing a, a list of uh, retaliatory measures. So, given the uh, <clears throat> the stupidity from the American side, thinking that they can actually beat China or suppress China, certainly will be um, um, getting a, a shock at 9:30 a.m. this morning. So, again, it's all net net negative. Any trade war, any protectionism really is, is self-defeating really um, unfortunately we, we have a president that's not very intelligent at the moment unfortunately and uh, and he thinks that he's um, he actually doesn't even know there is a difference between a trade deficit and, and a trade surplus so that certainly is worrying so um, an imbecile a, more, a bit of a moron uh, very ignorant very arrogant and usually pride comes before the fall so that's basically what we're witnessing at present either way that's status quo if he wants to destroy his own country that's his, that's his own problem he's more than willing to do that okay uh, and the Americans that have supported him as well, happy to do that as well. If they're happy to support racism, bigotry, uh, sexism, etc. Uh, that's their problem, not ours. Okay. Um, thank God it's not that bad in the UK at the moment. Europe certainly seems to be going that way as well uh, with the pop rise of populism. But generally, if you look at it historically, populism doesn't really last that long. Uh, either way, that's the state of quo. We have to react to it as traders. So protectionism certainly is negative. Okay. Uh, concerns regarding trade tech as well certainly is, is negative as well uh, this morning we've got uh, UK uh, shop price index certainly coming in lower than expected so again exerting further pressure there oil prices remain subdued as well overnight copper obviously would, would certainly uh, be subdued as well under pressure so copper certainly selling off as well on that um, news of extra tariffs by the Americans and obviously retaliatory measures from the uh, from from China so Again, that's really the main move. Uh, Chinese data did come out overnight. It came in the weaker than expected, so bear that in mind. China China services, so again, risk negative there. We are looking toward PMI, UK PMI construction, unemployment rate, CPI data from the, from Europe. So again, looking for risk aversion there, risk off. Certainly expected to kick in there as well. Okay, so Asian markets overnight. Uh, China was now lagging negative. Hang Seng was down 1%. And the Nikkei was more or less flat. Okay, so let's see where we are technically speaking now. The German DAX, uh, we've had gap fill at 12, but 100 certainly hasn't closed up. We've pushed lower uh, on the 10 minute chart. 60 minute chart, uh, again, do we now potentially go back and retest the lows? That certainly is on the equation, part of the equation. Okay, look at lower lows, lower highs thus far. Do we go back and retest that low below? That's the question. Okay, keep an eye there. <clears throat> In terms of the French CAC, We've held gap fill resistance at 5170. Now it looks like we're pivoting lower, looking to potentially move lower from my perspective, given the concerns regarding trade trade tariffs, etc. If we do push lower, then you are looking at by the potentially closing the uh, finding support down at 5120 or potentially support at 5090. So one chart below. In terms of the daily chart as well, again looking to potentially test the lows again at 5040. In terms of the FTSE 100, we are in that uh, falling, contracting, bearish wedge. Okay, 60-minute uh, chart at the moment. You're looking at potentially putting a lower low, lower high here, testing that low again at 7,000. That certainly is my expectation on the FTSE 100. 10-minute chart at present. We've certainly held strong given the concerns overnight and the weaker Chinese data run concerns regarding protectionism, etc. But again, looking for support 7,010 and then 7,000 certainly to be tested, potentially even break 7,000. So we shall, we shall see. If the market does continue to push higher, then you are looking at resistance 7060. Obviously, we had gap for resistance at 7055. You've got resistance 7080, then ultimate resistance at 7110. Watch out for those levels above. You still have the unfilled gap below at 6890, certainly open. So for my uh, interpretation, that, that gap certainly needs to close from what I can see. Okay. Uh, in terms of Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just see what's going on here. Again, we're just consolidating within this zone. We've closed the gap above. As you can see yesterday, it was a gap filled day. Close that gap now, looking to potentially test 3325 and potential support 3300 as well. So, watch out below. Really, is the uh, 
is a more tall rally given the fact that you put a lower low here looking for a lower high now on the euro stocks looking to potentially flush low okay so that's my uh, interpretation bias remains bearish unless there is some sort of resolution between the chinese and the americans which really we can't see at present either way that's the status quo a chinese protectionism or american protectionism and trade tariffs and chinese retaliatory measures certainly will keep risk aversion uh, certainly negative uh, and risk aversion in play okay on that note please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from trading providers uh, leading providers and also be sure to visit cfds.com to take, take advantage of the bonus goodbye